Hey everybody, we all get a little bit older. We all need a snack every now and again. Can't eat Doritos and Cheetos and potato chips and all the good things that taste good and satiate the young at heart. But it's time to face the music and say, hey, let's try something new, right? So I went on Amazon. I was looking at, hey, I need to get fiber in my diet. How can I get some fiber in my diet? I, I'm not going to eat a whole giant bowl of broccoli. I'm not going to, you know, um, take fiber, con, metamucil, benefiber, or whatever, um, and add it to all my drinks, uh, you know, and I don't know what's too much, what's too little. So I so said, like, I like to snack. Is there any snack out there that could help me get, you know, where I need to go? And apparently there's this Atkins protein wafer crisps, uh, 10 grams of protein, um, three net carbs, uh, one gram of sugar because they use uh, artificial sugars. So depending on your sensitivity to artificial sugars, you may not um, take to it. Um, let's see. It's. Here's the ingredient list if you want to take a peek at it. Let me zoom in on it. I can't really get it into focus. But um, I think the it's sucralose. Um, sucralose is the main uh, artificial sugar in there. Um, I think that's... Um, I, I want to say that that is um, the yellow one, Splenda. The Splenda packets. But um, this is what the packet looks like. Looks like it has creamy peanut butter in the middle. Does it? You know, we'll find out in a second. Um, I like that it had five grams of fiber. That seems to be like a good amount. Ten grams of protein. Protein is good. Um, let's see on the back. 190 calories per bar. Um, I don't know why I cannot zoom in. I will learn how to do this better. Um, but this is a brand new phone for me. So I'm, I'm figuring everything out as I go. But for the most part, it's not about all the details it's mainly about what it looks like what it tastes like and that the fact that like i think it's like three to five dollars or so for um the box itself so this is the bar um to the touch it's a little like oily let's break it very crispy to the sound um the filling looks foamy like a, a foamy wafer, foamy but crispy, um, and it looks like a white chocolate, you know, outside. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Okay. So that foamy peanut butter center kind of expands as you eat. The crunch is satisfying enough, but... I mean, I was at first going to say slightly, slightly cardboardy, but it's not. So the peanut butter, you get the creamy. You get the vanilla-esque, you know, from the outer, outer layer. And that's where it always tastes like, um, like a protein bar. Like every protein bar I've almost ever had has that kind of vanilla but it's not gritty but it tastes like it is um but other than that i mean it is satisfying but this this white you know texture and with the heat of your fingers melt it's very malleable it melts really quick hmm hmm but for 190 calories it's not bad So again, these are the Atkins Protein Wafer Crisps, 10 grams of protein, 3 grams net carbs, 1 gram sugar, 5 gram protein. I'm sure you could get it in the supermarket. I, I got mine on Amazon. Um, you can find it there. You, you know, get it wherever you can find it. If you are interested in purchasing it, you know, it does taste good. It is satisfying. You, you get all the things that you're looking for, like the crunch of food. You know, when you eat, you are going to need water after drinking it. And part of fiber is drinking more water. 
you need to have, um, you know, like four pint glasses of water a day. Um, you know, they say like eight cups, you know, what's eight cups. You want to have like, uh, you know, like 64 ounces of water in a day. It sounds like a lot, but it's, it's not that bad. Um, you know, once you get in the habit of doing it, you wake up, you have a glass of water. Every time you eat, you have a glass of water. If you're going to have an adult beverage or anything like that, have a glass of water after each one. And then you'll notice that you don't eat as much. You lose a little bit of weight. You know, you don't have as much, um, like bloat. Uh, you start to thin out a little bit. Um, and, and people start commenting, oh, what'd you do? What'd you do? Did you start working out? Did you start a regimen? Like, nah, I drank a lot more water. Uh, I ate less. Um, and I didn't, you know, eat the same junk I was eating as a kid. Like, I'm 36 now, so I have to start looking, you know, out for myself. And this is just one small part of that. So let me know if you find any cool snacks uh, that are like this, that both have fiber and protein, aren't aren't horrible for you. I do need to find one that has um, either no sugar or, uh, or not an artificial sugar because people tell me that I shouldn't be having anything, um, you know, artificial sugar or otherwise. So uh, keep going to get better and better each time. But for now, this is, you know, baby steps into getting into a new lifestyle. All right, take care.